Hey guys, welcome back to our Python programming series. In this episode, we'll go ahead and uh, see the use of else with our loops. Uh, the two loops that we have worked are for and while loop. Also, we will go ahead and explore some of the example or some of the more hands-on exercise uh, with the use of for, while, and some of the list examples. So far in the previous episode, uh, especially in the decision-making episode, we saw the use of the else. If you are, have any expression with the while, if you are testing certain expressions, expression and if that expression is either not true or false depending on that we had seen the use of the else on the similar lines the loops also supports the use of the else statement so the else statement has a different way of working when you use with the for loop and when you work with the while loop so if the else statement is used in a for loop the else block of code is only gets executed if your loop is terminates uh, normally when i say normally that means your loop has not encountered any break statement during the execution of the program so in that case your loops terminate successfully loop gets over successfully and later on the else core uh, else block code is gets executed while in the case of the else when you use the else with the while the else statement gets executed only when the condition becomes false that means it's only if the condition becomes false in that the case the else block of code is going to get executed so these are some of the things that we need to keep in mind when working with the else keyword with our two loops which are again for and while so without any further ado let's get on to the some of the hands-on exercise and we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the else behavior let's go ahead and simply write a program uh, using the range function and we will go ahead and print uh, 1 to 10 numbers and once the loop gets over we would ideally want to execute a certain line of code based on the else condition so we can just simply go ahead and say okay hey 4 uh, we can use again any iterating variable in range and in this case the range we want to go up to 11 because we said we want to go uh, 10 followed by a colon and what are we doing here uh, just simply go ahead and print the value of x in this case so at this stage if we go ahead and execute this program I'll go ahead and simply print a number from 0 to 10 but let's say uh, once the guild loop gets over as we discuss in the case of four when your loop gets over uh, normally we want to have that line of code gets executed so we can just simply go ahead and make use of the else keyword again uh, with the else keyword we go ahead and write the else keyword and we can go ahead and print any message i can just simply say okay hey end of program now let's go ahead and read on this program and see their behavior is slightly different so first the loop uh, ran over 1 to 10 uh, 0 to 10 in this case because the range had a value of 11 and once this part of the loop uh, these two lines were finished successfully then this else block of code was executed and that's the reason it says end of the program now let's uh, try to check some a different behavior in this case we want to run the loop but if we find the x being a value of 5 we want to come out of the loop so i can say okay hey if the x is equals to equals to 5 and that's the case we will just go ahead and simply break here and then see the behavior in this case what happens now let's go ahead and execute the same program again so in this case the system went ahead and printed from 0 to 5 but when the value of x was 5 it encountered a break and as soon as the break was encountered we came out of the loop directly that means this else block of code was never got executed and that's the thing that you need to remember when working with these loops using the else so hopefully it gives you the idea of using the else with the for and while and same way you can go ahead and code the while or the else with your while loop now let's go ahead and you know uh, try practicing couple of the examples on the while for and the list so we'll go ahead and simply uh, write a program uh, to print the vowels in a given string and uh, just simply go ahead and print that so just to save some time i am going to go ahead and make use of the program that i wrote earlier so let me go ahead and uh, go over this program with you so the first line is really the comment that says program to find and print vowels in a given string so this is just simply a print statement we are making use of the our print function and where we say okay start of the program then we are declaring a variable by name vowels and we are doing an input from the user where the prompt is simply says enter a string once the user enters any string that is being stored inside this variable by name vowels and the next line just simply print line that says list of vowel in above given string and we are printing this variable vowels after that we are making use of the for loop and in the for loop we are using an iterator variable x and we are iterating over our sequence and the sequence in this case is vowels which is a variable of type string so we'll go ahead and say okay hey for x in vowels now we are picking one letter from the string and within the for block of code we are using the decision 
making in the if we are saying if x dot lower so we are using a function so using the lower function uh, we are just simply converting the value of x into a lowercase letter let's say we enter any uppercase letter while during the comparison we are just converting or we are just temporarily converting that number from uppercase to the lowercase and then we are checking if this number is inside in this string and this string is made up of our vowel so in this case a e i o u so if that is the case we will just go ahead and simply execute this print statement if we don't find this x or the value or the letter within one of these letters we will just simply go ahead and go back onto the top of the for loop and we'll continue to end of the string and once that is done we'll go ahead and simply print the message which says end of program so now let's go ahead and try executing this program our program says start of program and that's because of this print statement now we are being prompted uh, because of this input string now let's go ahead and enter some string hello python so in this case the hello python was stored in the vowels uh, that's the line gets executed which says list of vowels in above given string hello python and within the string we are using the for loop we'll go over and we are printing the we are finding the vowels in a given string and once that is done we are finishing by printing the message that says end of program so this is one of the example of uh, working with the for loop uh, again you know we made use of the print function the input and really you know we made use of the decision making and uh, some of the other things now let's go ahead and uh, write another program uh, probably in this program we'll go ahead and make use of the while loop to find the reverse of a string so let me go ahead and remove this program and go ahead and paste our another program and as this program says the first line program to reverse a given string again we are doing a print statement that simply says print of program we are creating a variable by name original string and where we are asking an input from the user whatever is the entered by user we are just printing that message we are saying okay hey the original string entered by user is this and then we are finding the length of the input string by using the length of the string and we are doing a minus one because if you recall the last position value or the last index is always one less than the length of the string because the length starts from the one while the index position starts from the number zero so that's the reason we are doing a negative one here then we are creating another variable by name of reverse string it's an empty string variable now we are making use of the while loop here and in the case of while loop we are saying okay hey while length of the string so whatever is the length of string is as long as it's greater than or zero just simply go ahead and take a letter from our original string concatenate that with the reverse string in this case an empty and store the resulting string into the reverse string so that means we are picking the last letter from the string we are concatenating that with our empty string and we are storing that into the our reverse string variable and now go ahead and reduce the value of length of string by one that means come down wherever is the value now minus two minus three and and so on continue to run this loop as long as the length of the string is greater than or equals to zero once the loop gets over now go ahead and print the reverse string and then we'll go ahead and print a message that says end of program now let's try running this program we'll go ahead and enter a string let's call hello python and once that is done you can see our reversed string is being printed here and this kind of indicates the use of the while loop within the while loop we made use of the string and some of the other things so hopefully you get the idea that how do you really practice with the while loop and some of the examples associated uh, with this particular loop let's go ahead and uh, write maybe one more program and in this program we'll go ahead and make use of the for loop using the for loop we will go ahead and find vowels in a string but instead of printing the vowels this time we'll go ahead and store those vowels within a list and we will go ahead and print our list finally so let me go ahead and write our another program here so as the name kind of indicates here uh, the program to find vowels in a given string and store in a list so we are again printing a message we are creating an empty list the name of our list is our list we are asking for an input from the user and we are storing that input into variable vowels and we are just doing simply a print statement by printing wherever the user has entered now making use of four loop we are running over the our sequence and we are fetching one letter at a time and we are verifying if this letter is a vowel then we are just making use of the append function of our list and we are appending the vowels to the end of the list and we'll go ahead and run through this whole process un until we have encountered the end of the string and once that is done we have a list that stores all the vowels and then we will go ahead and just simply go ahead and print the list of vowels from the list and then we'll go ahead and execute just simply a print statement that indicates end of program so let's go ahead and try running this program and we'll go ahead and enter again our string hello python so within the string 
the system went ahead and fetched all the vowels and we ended up storing all those vowels within a list and once that was done we went ahead and printed our list so hopefully this gives you some idea around the for loop while loop and working with the else within your uh, loop so that'll be all for this episode i know again i would highly encourage you do some hands-on practice because for any programming language if you want to be good at that practice is the key guy so you know try typing more and more program and if you have any problem with running any program any syntax or anything uh, do leave me a comment and i will try to help you on that side with that i will see you in the next episode thank you